You see, that question where you end is where I bring in Professor Rans. For example, you've, you've, you've um, uh, referenced him a number of times. It's worth giving that official welcome after a, a long period of absence. Professor Rans, for example, is a professor of political science at the University of Ghana, Lagon, and an internationally respected governance expert. Professor Jampo, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, and um, good to be here. I, I think Sami has had all the time to talk about National Cathedral, and he said everything. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what I can add, um, but except to kind of articulate what was agitating my mind, that why did the very revered Reverend Minister my former chairman of the Church of Pentecost come out to say <clears throat> that um, work is going to be commenced soon on the National Cathedral. I thought he shouldn't have um, commented. Well, everybody has his own style. If you are in a car and the car is going to be involved in an accident, people will choose to jump. Mm -hmm. Some people will jump out of the car, but there are some who would remain in the car and look on for the car to crash. Maybe um, his continuous association with this National Cathedral thing is um, because he just wants to remain in it till it, um, the whole thing completely comes to or gets into a crash. But I am a bit worried because um, given the stature in society, um, uh, he shouldn't have, because there, there is no way that, uh, first of all, I'm told so per what Okujito is telling us, they don't even have the funding. Yeah. But assuming that they have all the funding, are they able to complete this cathedral in less than two months? Because and of the current state of affairs. Yes, yes. And then also we know that um, whoever takes over power is not guaranteed, or there's no guarantee that that person or that administration would want to continue the cathedral. In fact, some of us have advocated that we surcharge President Akufuadu and um, use his own emoluments retirement package to seal and to reclaim um, the whole, the land, the place that has been, you know, destroyed. So the Kufuadu should be surcharged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying we should use his own entitlement, emolument, presidential that's entitlement. Gracia. Yeah, that's Gracia. To cover that hole that has been um, um, tackled while we sit down to, to determine, identify who is culpable um, for suit, legal suit, for having caused financial loss, you know, to the state. And so my worry is that it cannot be done in less than two months. And there is absolutely no way a, 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 a new government would want to continue it. And so why are we... They are manifesto. Uh, if they, they win. If they win. If Dr. Baumia says... Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. But if, if they, they, they can do it, if they can do it, why are they not doing it now? Mm -hmm. Okay? If they can do it, why has the project stalled all this while? Okay, so, I mean, if you want us to talk about what must be done and it's not being done and it's being deferred to when, if we win, we can go there. But I think, um, generally, mm. I want to argue that it was absolutely unnecessary for this debate, this issue of um, National Cathedral to be, to be stopped again in the public um, discourse or in the public space by someone that I respect, you know, a lot. You see, because I have, I have a lot of respect for him, I'm not able to um, say it as I want to say it. But the point is, I, I, I would respectfully counsel him that, look, he should just, if he would not resign from... And you're telling me, Reverend Prof. Samati, I'm, I'm now getting to know that he's even yeah. still a member. Yeah. He's, see, he's when, people, yeah. when people are chopping, then they keep quiet. I mean, <laughs> uh, please, um, men of God, you see, some of us... We too, what we are doing is the work of God, okay? What we are doing is the work of God. I tell you, sometimes we wake up and we pray, God, we don't want to talk. And then we are told, we sense in our spirit that that's, you were created to be doing the kinds of things that you do. 
when they started, we told them, some of them called us behind the scenes, threatened us that we pray against you, um, it's the work of God, and, and so you should, you, should, you, should, yeah, yeah, we, you should keep quiet. And I'm saying that no amount of prayer can stop somebody who has, who is also being, has a, somebody who has conviction to do also the work of God. You say you are doing the work of God. We are also doing the work of God. Now, now, where are we now? So, are you? Are they? Are they still proud that they, they thought, and wanted to foist the idea that our God does not prioritize? You know, they wanted to foist that idea on all of us. I mean, this one, it was pure common sense. And sometimes, when you talk about pure common sense to Christians, they say, Mudi, we are seeing answer, born in Ekasa. But who gave you the Nyansa? Okay, who gave you the wisdom? Professor Poko Yina himself, when he was the chair of the Church of Pentecost, introduced a lot of things in the church that bordered on wisdom, the need for us to work with also our education and our intellect. And he reformed so many things. So I was surprised he accepted to be a member. And now he's telling us work is going to continue soon. How are you going to continue that work? And like you said, as we sit and as we talk, uh, public universities have been shut down. Um, yes, public universities have been shut down because... Um, some workers are demanding um, things that the government has not been able to do. As we um, talk, um, labor unions have announced a shutdown of the entire public service effective, effective um, 10th October. Mm -hmm. As we speak, um, people are demonstrating against Galamse and they are being dealt with um, high-handedness, you know, political high-handedness. As we speak yesterday, I was shocked. 100,000 cities, 1 billion old Ghana cities is just equal to $6,000. Mm -hmm. 100,000 cities is equal to $6,000. Terrible. 1 billion. Terrible. That money that we, we, we used to dread, yeah. hey, 1 billion is equal to $6,000. And as we speak, utility prices, you, you, um, you, the cost of utilities you know, have been increased. And salaries of lecturers have not been increased. As we speak, government continue to support the very unchristian, the very un-Islamic, and the very untraditional belief in LGBT rights, even against the mood and sensibilities of the generality of the people of Ghana. And as we speak, people who went about telling us about the incompetence, the corruption, and the difficulties that Ghana faced when they were seeking to lead the MPP as their flag bearer, have suddenly changed, they have changed course, and they are campaigning as if all mm. have been well. I ask myself, what impunity what arrogance. I mean, if there are difficulties, why don't you focus on solving them so that your solution will speak for you? You are not interested in solving the problem. But now, it appears Ghana is on autopilot. And so, um, we don't care about what is happening, but let's go about campaigning. Mm -hmm. it, takes, it, it creates an impression as if we are all mm -hmm. fools. They are, they, are, they are challenges. I'm saying that as we speak, public investors are shut down. Yeah. Who cares? But we are campaigning that we want to break the now. I don't know the number that you want to break, whether the one or the eight, I don't know. But so it, it, is, it is worrying. And please, it is not that you always want to speak against government. We speak against what is not good. Okay, it is not that you hate somebody and why are you always after us. But are you doing the right thing? Okay, are you doing the right thing? I tell you, I told you, for two weeks now, the universities have not been able to open. And the, we are just there. Um, There's no indication <laughs> of when this no, matter it, da, it, 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 it doesn't, it, I, I, cannot, I cannot see my way clear. 
and in, you know, as to how or when, how quick this, uh, the problem will be, will be resolved. And, and, and look at what we, what we are doing to ourselves. We brutalize people who are, were fighting for our, our own survival, people who were fighting for us. And um, we, 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 we did this to them and we, we treated them with this kind of high, uh, judicial high-handedness in a manner that show or points to an unnecessary abuse of the judicial processes. I, 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 well, some way, some I'm not, I'm not surprised. You know, we had an IGP, or we have an IGP that some people felt was being too professional. He was doing his work too well to the point that at one particular point in time, some people felt that, look, we appointed you and we must plot your exit. That didn't work. So suddenly, um, surreptitiously, then they appointed another person, deputy IGP, in charge of operations. What, so what, we'll get into what, what, what were we expecting, or, or what are we expecting him, or what is he expected to do? To come and, to come and teach people who demonstrate lesson. Otherwise, otherwise, I know that typical Dampari would not do this. Okay, so what did they do? What, I mean, I don't support hooliganism, just as the president said, <coughs> when he demonstrated intemperance. Now we have, um, there's a paper that I'm researching about, presidential temperament. Akufuadu has not, he hasn't got a suitable temperament to become president. Look at the way sometimes he behaves yeah. in public. He sees chiefs, chiefs and then um, does this to them. Uh, get up, get up, why are, you, why, why are you sitting? And then he goes to water region and he says things that undermine the respect of chiefs. A, um, 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 a GGA president goes on a platform to talk about um, how Galamseas, um, um, those who are demonstrating against Galamse, have been treated and is calling on authorities to act. And we saw how the president reacted. We saw it. And I'm just imagining, we've had presidents. Let's look at even J.J. Rollins, the man who combined revolutionary favor with democratic practice. I'm not imagining J.J. Rollins or giving that kind of response. Okay, I cannot imagine him doing that. Look at Kufo. Do you think that if somebody has said this openly, you know, uh, in a speech and the person was seated with Kufo, do you think Kufo would have reacted the way uh, um, Akufuado reacted? Look at Professor Mills. Look at President Mahama. They wouldn't have done that. And so even his temperament is it's not, it's not good. And, and, and it appears that these things are coming up um, because everybody knows or he knows that, look, he's exiting. But we should begin to legislate about presidential comportment and how things would have to be done when clearly people know that they are exiting office. Because it appears that now you can, you can do whatever you like and um, um, I don't care. And if that happens, then we run down the nation and then you jeopardize all of us as security. And I, I think it is not good at all. So, Okujeto, um, I think you are doing well in your fight. I mean, we started these things way back in 2018. When we, 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 we had traveled before, we've seen what other people have, how they've prioritized and what they have done in their country. And then we, we, we were also thinking about uh, building a national cathedral. It's not that we are not Christians. It's not that we don't believe in God, but we felt that our God would want us to prioritize. Our God would want us to do things we know when to do first things first. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when we're saying this, the, the, everybody was against us and, and look, you are not, you are an atheist, you don't believe in God and, and all that. Today, we've seen where we've got into. Right. I am ashamed for some of the people who are still serving on the board and they are still drawing salary. I think that if they have conscience, they should advise themselves.